Okay, we're skipping this. Uh, we already talked about George Santos. What is this? Strong opinion on this. Yeah, sometimes I'm just like, oh, like I've got a strong opinion on this thing. And I'm like, I don't really want to deal with like saying that. And then just like the chat goes like, like so true. Or like, what do you say? You know, like, and then you get one guy and you see streamers like arguing with like one person in their chat. <laughs> Mm. I don't like, like that. I'm like, oh god, I don't oh, deal with that. Guy. Yeah, there's like one guy, and everyone else is just like, <laughs> you're like, you're just really <laughs> hate it. it over this one person in chat. I'm like, yo, relax, Hassan. Oh, sorry, not Hassan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my entire. <laughs> okay, listen. All fun aside. Okay, I mean, she's right. I do that all the time. And I do have the tendency to get one guy regularly. And it is probably very annoying for all the people who are not that one guy. Okay? Having said all of that, having said all of that, having said all of that, I think a lot of you guys would recognize that it's usually not one guy. And in, like, I would say 75% of the situations, unless I'm, like, on a hair trigger, like, unless I'm, like, nearing burnout, most of the time I'm, like, responding to someone in a valid way. It's never one guy. There's 30,000 to 40,000 people in here while we're talking about politics. So it's usually not one guy. I get one guy a lot while I'm gaming. That's true. I get one guy a lot when I'm gaming because there's only like 14, 15,000 people. And then like there are, there are people that will just come in and be like, why aren't you moving and shooting like, while well, I'm playing Valorant? That's, I, I, I'll recognize that because that's usually like chat is slower. Um, I'm not like making a, an example out of someone that deserves to be made an example of. It's just like stupid, silly shit. Guy said 15k uh during gaming. No, it's usually I was actually giving a conservative estimation. Like it's 15k by the end of it. Uh, by the end of the gaming sequence. It's usually around 20k. Um I'm doing it right now. Anyway, uh but it's not like I'm not like arguing with these people. I'm not arguing with you guys. I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. Stop trying to stop trying to catch me. There's there's a difference. There's a difference between like me pulling someone and then fucking freaking out. My entire content revolves around having a conversation with my community. That's the unique aspect of this, right? So if the entire vibes of the chat, if I can't control it, like right now it's out of my hands. I can't control chat right now. Chat is in a contentious moment. Like chat is now in contentious mode. So now everyone is going to be like, oh, dude, you got one guy. Like, everyone is spamming the same shit. We just got to, like, cool off and then get back to, like, whatever the fuck we were doing, right? Like, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens like that. 25K plus just chatting. 20K max gaming, I think. The, I, this is my fun. This is the funny part where it's like, Oh, you're getting one guy, lol. And then he, this guy wants to be the one guy. Like all of you, like there's 20, what is it? 25,000 people in here right now. Okay. The one guy becomes you. And if out of all of you that are chatting is trying to be the one guy, it's no longer a one guy situation. It's now a majority situation. You know what I mean? You're you're all doing it. You're all so desperate to get my attention and like not in a positive way anymore that it's now become a multiple guy situation. It's no longer a one guy situation. <laughs> not Hassan. Not Hassan, not Hassan, not Hassan. But like other, every, all the streamers, other streamers, other streamers. No, it, it is me. I, I do it all the time. Anyway, the point I was trying to make before I got literally sucked into this like idiotic argument is that Everybody loves getting the streamer's attention in every stream, okay? Some people monetize that relationship by uh, turning on tur uh, TTS. I think it's a valid way to do it, okay? Paywalling that conversation is valid and smart, okay? I choose not to because I thrive off of the back and forth with chat. Usually, 
in most of my favorite streaming moments, that relationship is positive. And uh, we are all, we're having a productive conversation, a productive back and forth. Sometimes it's not positive. Like when the vibes shift and everyone goes, oh, he's not responding to positive shit, but he is definitely responding to negative shit. So let's start spamming whatever I, I can say, whatever I can say in the chat to like, you know, no matter how unhinged it is, I just want his attention. Like, I, I will do it. Anyway. I forget what I was saying. My point is when I'm, when I'm talking to someone in chat, which I do all the time and I'm making an example out of them, it's usually a very common take that I've either heard and I'm, I'm making an example out of like how silly that take is. So the other people that have similar opinions, uh, will also recognize that that opinion is wrong and why that opinion is wrong. That's it. You understand? That's it. That's why I do what I do. Get it? Anyway. <laughs> but it's true. I do get. I do sometimes get one guy. He's gonna bring it up later. He will. No, 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 no. He doesn't get one guy ever. No, no, no. No, oh, but, no, like uh, people dumb. get one guide sometimes, you know, and I I've do. gotten one guide. I see one person in my chat too, and I'm like, what the fuck is your problem? Hold but, the fort. And I pause everything just like call because it's frustrating. Because yeah, sometimes I'm just like, oh, like I've got a strong opinion. It sounds gonna watch this could be like, okay, dude, as if this literally this isn't literally him, and then five minutes later do this exact same thing. I mean, I did do this, yes. But like I said, I think that there is a uh there is a valid and adequate reason for why I do it. Oh, this is the this is the USC film school watching me, by the way, a couple days ago. Everyone takes risks. When you go and work for a place, you are taking risks. Two sides of that conversation. The greatest risk that a business owner has is losing their money and becoming a worker like you. Never forget that. Because when you lose your business or when you lose all the money, you don't go to prison. They don't kill you. You just become a worker. That's the biggest fear that a capital owner has is being relegated to the working class, going back to becoming a worker. That is the biggest risk that they're taking. So you as a worker literally look at that situation and go, oh, my lord, but they're taking risks, my lord. They deserve the profits of my labor. I myself am not taking a risk. Well, Damn, I'm hearing some laughter in the room. Let's go. No, you are. Because when that business goes under, you lose your job too. Your starting position as a worker at that business is already literally the end point that those capital owners, your bosses are afraid of becoming. That is their biggest fear. So never forget, you take... I love you, but if my professor was a Hasanabi head, that'd be cringe. Why? <laughs> this is a wild thing to see though in class. Like, people that have these kinds of flags on their fucking bio on Twitter being like, fucking end me. That's so cringe. Like, brother, what do you mean? Like, your entire life is infinitely more cringe than this, than, than one of my fucking TikToks being shown in a USC class. Like, why do people who are, why do people who are themselves insanely fucking cringe assume that the only way to not appear as cringe is basically by uh i don't know saying other things are cringe what is this <laughs> oh, oh my god when does the nine month brain rot set in
What? That's fucking bullshit, dude. I act uh, anyway, I love this. There's, there's another, there's another fake uh, vaccine injury thing, dude. You know what's awesome about this? Like, in case you were interested in the context or why they were watching, had nothing to do with the lecture. Actually, at the end of every class, he shows a variety of videos and clips. This one was sent to him by his son, and he liked it enough to show us. We didn't discuss it in class or anything. The class is called Visions of Diversity in Cinematic Arts. Actually, no, I was in this lecture. I'm also in Gordon Stream class. This class is a completely different one, and he's teaching it for the first time this semester. All cinematic art students have to take it. It has nothing to do with the streaming class. It's wild that there's a class on streaming. I actually know this professor in class. is a class that teaches the business of streaming. DM me if you ever want to do a guest lecture. Why is there... I'm a college professor in a Hasanabi head. There are more of us than you think. No, that doesn't surprise me at all, right? That obviously doesn't surprise me at all. It's just that, like, it's wild that this thing that uh, I have uh, somehow found myself uh, being a part of, the streaming thing, this is, like, where I have made my career, is now something that they're teaching in schools. Like, there are going to be film, cinema, and, like, you know, there is there is going to be books written about, you know, there are YouTube books written about YouTube already, right? Like in lecture halls, people discussing YouTube and also possibly Twitch. And, you know, the, the, the idea that like I might be one of the people that is discussed in this process is crazy. It blows my mind. It's just so strange. And I'm not, of course, I'm not talking about like Ninja's book that he wrote. I'm talking about like people writing about the concept of streaming, like to educate people. People have put me in their dis dissertations before. Yes. People have put me in, uh, people have put the stream on like a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I saw this one, the beer can one. This one is my favorite. This is my favorite vaccine injury. Okay. Um, what is this? Urgent. My cousin Mahmoud, 45, a healthcare worker in Turkey, was mandated to take Pfizer's COVID vaccine. That Three days later, he cannot stop shaking. I'm a prisoner in dump, my own dump, home. Dump, 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 dump. Yes, 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 yes. This dip, one's fire. Dip, 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 yes, yes. This is the best version of that tweet that I've seen so far. I discussed Twitch with an arts and media teacher for a high, high class private school with celeb children, and he's hooked. I'm sure it's part of his lessons now. Do you find this weird or cool? This? I love this guy. Um. Anyway... So 